Hey guys, damn camera. Um, XR10, you've all seen one before, so I don't really need to talk about it. It's my first one, I just got done building it, yada yada yada. Had to buy a remote. Ended up going with this one here. The MT4. Uh, awesome remote, I'll show you why. Well, basically it's extremely lightweight. Uh, this isn't really commercial for it. I just wanted to show you a couple things real quick, because when I got it, I couldn't find any videos online, so I'm just hoping this video helps. Um, the wheel off to the side of the screen and the back button, all you need for programming. Push on the wheel, clicks it. Uh, so you need to scroll up and down the menus. The first one at the bottom, at the very bottom, is system. Go into system. Go down to TH type, that's throttle type. That's uh, number six. Click on it. Now, I already I already changed mine, but it says 50-50. When you, the controller's default is 70-30. Um, I won't get into why it's important, but basically, uh, with a motor on axle setup, 70-30 won't work. The, the tires won't turn at all. You sit there all day, and you'll see at the beginning, when you squeeze on your throttle, it shows you what you're doing, and then the same thing with your steering. It shows you your percentages of what you're moving. It's pretty slick. Um, again, going back in there, you can change that one. And the other one that you have to look at, auxiliary type. Just go into there and change that to MOA mix. And same thing, use your wheel to go up and down, side to side, whatever. It'll, it'll pick it for you. Go on MA, click it. It'll say step auxiliary when you get it. So just roll it up until you see uh, MOA mix. Click on it. Use your back button to get out. Basically do those two things and the, it'll be a rolling chassis. You'll be able to drive it. And then read the manual or just play with it. Um, it's very easy to understand. You, like I said, click on the wheel. You can go into system, and once you go into system, almost all your adjustments are right in there. Uh, auxiliary type, yeah, I went through that, the type, uh, the TH, all your adjustments are in there. They're very slick to use. Another thing you got to look at when you go in, uh, you go into your auxiliary one, that's off the main menu, that's number eight. Go into there, and then you can uh, change. If you want to drag the rear end a bit, you can change it so it's only running at 90% of the front wheels or vice versa. I didn't do it. You know why? Because I programmed that function, auxiliary one, to be controlled by this dial. So while in full motion, while on the fly, I can while the trigger is on even, I can rotate this dial and it'll change the percentage of my front to rear ratio on the fly. Very slick. I love that. And back here there's a lever. So this is what I chose for my dig. I like it. <laughs> it works out really slick. And then you got four uh, trim adjustments, these two for your uh, steering and throttle and the other two for whatever, whatever you decide to uh, put them on. So I'm going to get other receivers, attach them to, of course, my Wraith so I can operate the winch off of it. Um, I slash, I might get a set of lights and I can flash people with them at night. I don't know, some thoughts. And I don't even know if I can ever resurrect the old uh, spirit. Never know. Anyways, check that remote out, guys. If you're in Calgary, they got them at PM Hobby. It's 270 bucks. It's half the weight and half the price, pretty much, of a PK4. Guys, go get one.